What's going on guys, Nathan here with a Team Fortress 2 skin tutorial. Now, uh, I, I realize there are a lot of these tutorials on YouTube already, however, a subscriber requested this of me, so I figured I would deliver it to him, being uh, he requested it quite a while ago. So first thing you're going to want to do is download WinRAR. Now, WinRAR is an archiving application that will allow you to basically extract zip files that you download on the internet. Now, uh, you, you'll download a lot of zip files on the internet for you non-tech savvy people. Um, they're pretty much everything in video games like skins, maps, like all, all, all of this type of stuff will come in a zip file and also like programs in the future that you might get will come in zip files. So this is definitely a useful program, not just for downloading skins, but it, but it also happens to be very useful for downloading skins. So head on over to WinRAR's website. Uh, I just googled WinRAR, and it's pretty much the first result. This is their official website. Uh, download your language, and I'm not going to do this because um, I, I already have it downloaded, and it would be pretty pointless to uninstall a program and then reinstall it. So you're going to basically download your, your uh, language, and then you're going to end up um, downloading your uh, OS version. So like uh, you choose Windows 7 if you have Windows 7, etc. Very simple installation, very easy. Once you have that done, you're going to want to go ahead and look up a skin. Uh, Game Banana is the pretty much the website that you're going to want to go to. Uh, Game Banana is um, pretty much the number one site in terms of everything video game related. See, for example, we have like forums, games, graphics, maps, members, readable skins. There, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, maps, scripts, um, just so much crap on this website that's so useful for video games or just basically customizing video games. So Game Banana is the place to go. Uh, from here, you're going to want to choose a Team Fortress 2 skin simply by choosing skins and then choosing Team Fortress 2 and then picking your weapon that you want. For this example, we're going to be choosing the Bushwhacker. And as you can see here, there's just tons of models available. For example, you have a frying pan you can do. Um, you can have whatever rock, rock versions of blades. Uh, energy swords, you know, that's pretty cool. And apparently it's a good skin too if it has a 9.6. Um, and then, you know, you can just keep on going. And, and this exists for every weapon, well, pretty much every weapon in Team Fortress 2. Very, very interesting stuff. A lot of really, really neat items on here. So I'm going to end up downloading the Goddess Sword. So we'll just click on it here. And uh, you're going to want to click on download. Now, uh, what this looks like is pretty much just this page, but I've already downloaded it. Uh, as you can see in this other window, it'll open in another window and you'll get this file right here. So we're going to go ahead and show in folder. And uh, this is random stuff. I ignore this. So uh, goddess2 is the file name. So we're going to go ahead and click extract here. You can also um, extract to the location that you want to um, actually, like, put it in, but I just prefer to extract here because it's just a lot simpler to me personally. So we're going to get the materials and models folders. Now we'll just leave those uh, alone for right now. And then you're going to want to head over to your Team Fortress 2 folder in Steam. So I actually have a shortcut for this, but uh, your, the, the file path is um, obviously your computer. You're going to head on over to your OS. Uh, obviously that's your hard drive. Program files. And for me, it's times 86 being I have a, a 64 bit version of Windows 7, I believe. Head on over to Steam, Steam apps, your username, and then here are your list of games, so like Counter-Strike Source, blah, blah, blah. What, what we're going to want is Team Fortress 2. And then we're going to head over to the TF file. Now, the TF file contains all of your folders you're going to need if you if you end up customizing Team Fortress 2. For example, uh, resource and scripts right here is where you put uh, custom HUDs. Uh, config is where you put in scripts, but that's, that's a completely separate video in itself if I end up making that. Uh, what we're going to want is materials and models here. So what we're going to basically do is go back to downloads hold the materials and models and you can select multiple ones by holding control and then clicking the folder and you're basically just going to move to tf now you'll get this uh, confirm folder replace dialog box and you're going to want to check do this for current items it, it really doesn't matter if you check this or not but um it, it basically just is i don't know it's kind of pointless but anyway i, I just check it because that's just kind of habit so click yes and then uh, that's pretty much it. So the models have actually been transferred. And like here, here's all of the custom crap I've downloaded from like servers. So like Freak Fortress 2 will have uh, downloads for models and stuff. And then uh, models, I believe, is the actual models of, um, or rather, in, in the game. For example, Freak Fortress 2 has, <laughs> I don't know what these file names are. Ass Pancakes Badass Engineer. So like um, the, these are the actual model files. From here, we'll launch Team Fortress 2, and uh, I'll show you in-game. All right, guys, we are in-game, 
as you can see, if I take out my Bushwhacker here, just to show that I have it equipped, we have the Bushwhacker, and it is the Goddess Sword now. So, that is pretty awesome, and that is how you install skins in Team Fortress 2. Very, very cool um, ability, I guess, for uh, Valve to give pretty much free reign over people to just make whatever they want in-game. So, uh, that was the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a rating on the video if you did enjoy it, and... Uh, feel free to subscribe for more Team Fortress 2 content, because that is what I bring to my channel. It is awesome, and, uh, yeah. So, bye bye